Hello, this is Stephanie with Healthcare EDU. I am demonstrating um, the partial bed bath skill as required by DNS. There are gonna be subtle changes from Prometrics. With DNS, we're just required to do the face, arm, hand, and underarm. You can watch my other video if you're testing with Prometrics where you did more body parts, okay? So it's assumed that I've washed my hands, soap and water, hand wash, I've knocked, Okay, entered the room. I'm gonna close the privacy curtain. You're not seeing the privacy curtain because of where um, the videographer is standing, okay? So, hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm your CNA for today, and I'm here to do your partial bed bath. Is that all right with you? I'm gonna check your two patient identifiers. Now in this video, I'll be teaching. You can't see my students, but they're here in the background, okay? So if you notice that I have not touched um, the patient to check the two identifiers. So I teach you all to do objects and person, okay? And so if you do think of objects, patient, patient objects, you'll know when to put gloves on or take them off, if that makes sense, okay? So we've soap and water hand wash, we've closed our privacy curtain, um, and our hands are still clean, but we haven't put gloves on yet, okay? So I bring a chair for this skill, put that down, and now I'm gonna set up. I'm just going to set up your bedside table, and notice I say two patient identifiers. You do not say, if it's the name and MRN, or um, most places use name and date of birth, but some people could have a name and medical record number, name and blood type. So that's the healthcare's um, decision to see what they wanna use as two patient identifiers. So just say two patient identifiers, it's a safety. So I'm going to go ahead, um, Tony, and go get some water for you, okay? So exit out of the room, my hand is still clean. I'm gonna put some water. Now, water is checked twice. I into the back into the room. I'm back, Tony. I checked the water with my hand. It feels all right. Tony, are you able to check it with your elbow? You're awfully quiet today, Tony. So the patient checks it with their elbow, and that is kind of like when you test um, milk for giving an infant a bottle, they tell you to test it on this skin here because your palm is a little bit rougher. You won't feel how hot it is if you do it on your palm. So the patient checks it on their elbow. So I'm still object, right? So my hands are still clean. I have not touched a patient yet. I'm going to raise um, the bed to my body body height for a proper body mechanics, okay? Doo, doo, doo. The bed's going up. Tony, did you have breakfast? <laughs> so, um, indirect skills is communicating, right? So obviously I'm teaching, but in real life, if you had a patient and you were just like creepily bathing them without speaking to them, it would be very odd, okay? So in real life, bathing, a full bed bath, not even what we're doing here, is probably the longest task you'll do for your patient. You might be in there 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and so you want to be able to be able to have a conversation with them. Okay, so now I am going to put my gloves on. So put my gloves on. For the YouTube world, we're just saving gloves. Um, my students will actually put them on. I didn't wanna waste them for the video. So I have gloves on. So now I'm going to put on the bath blanket, okay? We, in the CNA world, we never shake a blanket like this because of microbes. It's always unfolding, okay? So you're gonna keep unfolding it. Don't let it touch the ground. All right, Tony, I'm just covering you with a bath blanket here. And now, can you hold the bath blanket for me? If your patient can't hold it, you could also tuck it under um, their arms here. Tony's joints are a little bit messed up. Reach around behind the neck and untie it. We never pull a patient by the extremity. So while holding the patient's wrist, and we'll show you addressing a patient, you're gonna do your best to take the gown off while keeping them because residents have a right to modesty. It's the same reason that you pull the privacy curtain. Can you hold that bath blanket for me, Tony, please? <clears throat> and bring it over to your side. Hold the wrist. <clears throat> 
actually I need that um, I forgot to put that hamper on this side can you lift up that hamper you don't have to come into the screenshot <laughs> I'll take it so the hamper would be here okay now if you notice how I'm rolling this away from me you roll it away and put it in the hamper don't forget that HAI hospital acquired infections the synonym nosocomial infection Tony most likely is not getting up and hopping into the bed with another patient, okay? Tony most likely staying in their room for the most part, um, depending on how sick they are. So when a uh, virus spreads through a long-term care facility or hospital, it's us as healthcare workers that have, you know, walked from room to room to room to see all of our patients. So that's why you roll things away from you. It's an indirect skill of infection control. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a hand towel over your chest here, Tony. And now I'm going to wash your eyes, um, no soap. <clears throat> So this is a bath mitt. This is how you make, actually make it with this hand. This is how you make a bath mitt, okay? Now the eyes are cleaned. There's the water, they're actually cleaned with no soap. You think about your index finger and your pinky finger. And so you turn the one bath mitt into two bath mitts in your hand, okay? So the one bath mitt, one eye, when you guys do it on each other, don't put these, although they're clean, don't touch each other's face. But on the mannequin, I will. The inner corner to the outer, and then I switch to the pinky, inner, outer. Do you see? So I've turned this bath mitt into um, two uh, uh, washcloths in my hand. That goes right into the hamper. And so now I'm actually realizing I should have had three washcloths, it's okay. We're doing it YouTube world. I brought in the number of towels for Prometrics, so I'm just switching it out now. So soap, it goes into the hamper and you don't use it again, okay? So now you could use the same two washcloths to clean the face, arm, underarm, and hand, okay? Um, so now I'm going to make a mitt again. The soap, in real life, you might ask the person if they want soap, um, but I know most testing scenarios, they say the face, so when I say face, I mean your head, um, not to use soap, okay? So let's just not use soap. All right, so the only thing you clean in a circular motion, this is not like you in the shower, you know, scrubbing away under the hot water. The only thing you clean in a circular motion in healthcare is like the tip of a man's penis, and we'll watch the video for perineal care. So you're cleaning from top to bottom. Okay, I'm gonna clean your face, top to bottom, get the ears, can you close your eyes for me? And if in real life they wanted soap, it, it, it wouldn't be like you're doing something wrong, okay? But most testing, um, if you don't ask them, just don't put the soap. All right, so we rinse that. We can pat dry, pat dry, okay? And then apply lotion. So here's the lotion, we're applying the lotion. So that's the face, okay? So now, again, roll this away from you never touch you here so now i'm going to clean your arm you could have the side rail down you could have it up i probably would have put it down but my gloves are on i don't want to go touch objects okay so what you're going to do you only need to expose the part of the body that you're cleaning so because i'm cleaning the arm i'm not going to throw the bath blanket off and have the patient fully exposed okay so imagine being like start naked and the person's like cleaning your face you just expose the area when you get to it okay so you're going to take a towel <clears throat> you're going to unfold it you want it vertically and again body mechanics your body mechanics and how you hold the patient matters watch that so it doesn't fall on the floor um, and so i'm always holding the patient at the wrist all right i just lift up your arm we're going to clean your arm now so now we have a um, my soapy washcloth it's liquid soap probably you'll put on it, or I have a bar of soap here. I'm making my mitt, my bar of soap wetted, get, you know, soap here. And so now I'm gonna clean top to bottom, the direction matters. All right, hold at the wrist. You're never gonna see me pull like this. You could dislocate people's joints, and also people have thin skin, etc. So top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom, that's soap okay here's my rinse mitt and again this is it we're in the state of massachusetts for youtube world we have two vendors that are testing prometrics and dns 
If you're using Prometrics, I have a Prometrics video, but this is DNS. Rinse, okay? Pat dry, pat dry with the lotion, um, with the towel underneath and lotion, okay? So now underarm two, it's a C, just C going that way under the arm, okay? So, and we're almost done here, guys, because they only want us to do the face, arm, underarm, and hand. All right, so this is soap for the underarm. Hold at the wrist, and I'm just gonna clean under your arm there. That's all you would do, right? And then here's your rinse. Now, when you're doing a full bed bath, you actually change, people have been asking me to make a full bed bath video, you change the water four times. But in this one, um, you don't have to do that. So then I would pat dry under the armpit, move that towel a little bit, pat dry under the arm, okay? I would apply deodorant if I had it here. And so now I'm gonna do the hand. Lift the basin, the basin's going from this clean surface with the paper towel to this towel here, which is a clean surface, okay? Lift up and then put the patient's hand in there and that will be the soap, rinse, pat dry lotion of the hand, all right? Because Tony's a mannequin, a little awkward, it's gonna fall down, but I would make the same bath mitt, clean in a downward fashion, soap, rinse, Okay, lift the basin up, put it back on your clean surface. I would pat dry and I would lotion, all right? So now I want to get rid of this towel, lift up the arm. Again, always mindful how you hold the patient. Hold by the wrist, never, this doesn't touch your body. Roll it away from you, put it in the hamper. All right, you're all set. So clearly this is for testing purposes because you would never bathe a patient just doing their arm, okay? Um, all right, Tony, you're all set. I'm gonna put a new Johnny on you. So here's the new gown, new Johnny. Again, we're not shaking anything. So what you would do, put it right over. Hold by the wrist. And let's get the other arm in very gently, all right? And you would tie the Johnny behind the neck here. And so I'm just going to get rid of the bath blanket. So this skill, guys, is not bad at all. Roll this away from me, into the hamper it goes. Now, remember that I have gloves on. Uh, Tony here could have had MRSA, VRE, C. diff. Let's just give Tony everything, right? I don't want to go with my gloves, this is wrong, and start touching all of this. That's why I say you won't break infection control if you remember object, put gloves on to touch patient, patient, take gloves off to touch object. Does that make sense? So now that I'm done with Tony here, I want to now put Tony back in the finishing up steps. So I'm gonna take my gloves off the correct way, hand hygiene, okay? Now my hands are clean, now I touch this. All right, Tony, I am going to uh, do my finishing up steps. So class, the finishing up steps, the bed is low and locked. Don't just say locked, actually check to make sure the wheels are locked. The bed is low and locked. Your call light, Tony, if you need us, you can call me or call the nurse, right? There's your call light, call light within reach. Side rail up for safety. We didn't put the side rail down, but if you had, you would put it up. So bed low and locked, call light within reach, side rail up, patient comfort. Tony, would you like to uh, sit up a little bit? Yeah? Okay, so now if your patient, say your patient was really, your patient would need a boost, but if you had to adjust your patient, and we'll do more with wheelchair, you're never going to pull their arms like this. You would reach behind, all right? If your patient was light enough that you could do that, but you scoop behind, and we'll show you with a wheelchair. All right, patient comfort, and now we're going to go put the supplies away. So Tony's all set. I would open my privacy curtain with clean hands, and so now these could have went into the hamper before. Here's my supplies. Paper towel would be in the trash. I would go to the restroom, dump the water, clean my basin, put it away, hand hygiene, and done. That's the skill.